Welcome to a special reading of the first chapter of my upcoming book A Ripple Through Time, Franklin's Folly. Chapter 1. The Genius at Work. Amidst the lush vineyards and ornate chateaus of the French countryside, the City of Lights harbored the fervor of revolution a sentiment well acquainted with the illustrious Benjamin Franklin. As the dusk enveloped the sky with a blend of crimson and indigo, the streets of Paris buzzed with the talk of liberty, the ideals of a burgeoning American nation finding resonance in the hearts across the Atlantic. However, amidst the grandeur of high society, where the philosophies flourished over lavish banquets, Benjamin was knee-deep in mechanical contrivances in a quaint yet sophisticated workshop bestowed by a French aristocrat sympathetic to the American cause. It was a safe haven, a cornucopia of potential nestled amidst a realm of endless possibilities. His days were an exhausting dance between courtly engagements and tireless hours in his workshop. Every audience with the French king, with the opulent halls echoing the assurances of support for the revolution across the ocean, left Benjamin with a thirst for action. He grew impatient with each passing day, the war at home was a bleeding wound, and the tardy deliberations felt like droplets of disdain on his open sore. His only solace was found amid the gears and gizmos that awaited him post-dusk. The anticipation of unearthing the secrets of nature kept his weary spirit fueled. The world knew him as the harbinger of lightning, yet the endless expanse of the unknown beckoned him with the lure of an enamored lover. On a crisp autumn morning, as the sun cast its golden glow on cobblestone streets, Benjamin found himself tracing the delicate outlines of his newest contraption a device he believed held the promise of unearthing the profound connection between energy and matter. He envisaged it, a realm where the finitude of space, time, and even reality could be teased and twirled at his will. His days were never lonely. The presence of Amelia, his graceful yet gritty assistant, was a silent companion through the highs of discovery and the lows of ceaseless trials. She was a mystery wrapped in layers of intellect and charm. Her keen eyes missed no detail, and her hands moved with a balletic grace among the clinks and clatters of the mechanical realm they delved into every day. The enigmatic smile she bore narrated tales of an unyielding spirit. As the daughter of a revolutionary, her soul was a fierce blaze against the tyrannies of monarchies. Her unwavering faith in the American cause was a warm cloak of assurance around Benjamin's weathered shoulders. It was in the ghostly hours before dawn when inspiration struck Benjamin like a bolt of lightning, illuminating the obscure corners of his mind. As he hastily etched diagrams and equations on parchment, a sudden surge of unyielding confidence filled him. Unbeknownst to him, as the evening sky bestowed its darkness, the ticking gears of fate were set in motion. Amelia handed Benjamin a freshly brewed cup of tea, her eyes mirroring the fiery excitement that danced in Benjamin's veins. Together, they stood at the precipice of the unknown, the veil that separated epochs was about to tremble under the fingers of the genius and his faithful companion. They were about to traverse the fine line that separated the realms of genius and madness, of reality and the unfathomable abyss of the unknown. With each fine-tuned adjustment to the mechanism, each delicate touch to the heart of his invention, the air around them seemed to thicken with anticipation. The silent shadows in the corners of the workshop seemed to stretch and lean closer, as if yearning to witness the unraveling of time itself. As the candles flickered against the melancholy draft, the night descended upon them with a promise of eternity, or perhaps, an eerie descent into the abyss of a horrific epoch awaiting with open jaws. The hum of the mechanism grew louder, the gentle whir of gears harmonizing with the steady beat of their hopeful hearts. Amelia, with a soft breath of courage, stood beside Benjamin as he placed his trembling hand on the lever. So began the night that could change the course of history, with Benjamin Franklin, the harbinger of lightning, standing at the helm. The veil of time was about to be pierced, the ripples of their actions poised to echo through the annals of time, into the bleak shadows of an unforeseen, terrifying future. As Benjamin lowered the lever, the world around them shivered, 
the first whisper of the storm that was about to unfold. The eerie stillness of anticipation gave way to a tumult of possibilities as the contraption roared to life. A spectral dance of lights, colors, and shadows commenced around them, painting the humble workshop with hues of oblivion and creation. The iridescent beams leapt and twirled across the room, reflecting in Amelia's wide eyes, filled with wonder and trepidation. Benjamin could feel the fabric of reality tremble under the might of his invention. The deafening crescendo of whirring gears resonated with the beat of his racing heart. It was a culmination of relentless curiosity and sleepless nights. Amelia clutched a blueprint, her knuckles pale against the dark ink, her breath a ragged melody sinking with the rhythm of unfolding realities. Then, with a flash of blinding light, a ripple in time was birthed. The room seemed to stretch and bend, the walls breathing the ancient secrets hidden in the veil of time. A sudden gust of wind swept through the room as if bearing witness to the opening of a portal across time. The profound silence that followed was a pause between the end of one reality and the dawn of an unknown realm. Benjamin and Amelia stood amidst the swirling vortex of time, their silhouettes etched against the unfathomable abyss that beckoned with its chilling allure. Thank you for listening to the first chapter of my new book. If you like it please feel free to order a copy through Amazon. I will provide the link in the show notes.